Prediction, I get five cases of brain freeze this episode. Five. Hey folks, I'm Matt from Doug Astros and welcome back to Five Things I Love to Crush. Today, it's that beautiful piece of frozen sugar liquid on a stick. That's right, the popsicle. Or as McDonald would say, popsicolo. Hey, popsicolo. I actually made reference to this in Five Things I Love to Crush Ice Cream because someone was like, hey, maybe you should do a popsicle in there. No. Ice cream, popsicle, and then a subdivision of popsicle, freezy. It needs to be on a stick. By very definition, frozen sugar water on a stick, popsicle, frozen sugar water in a bag, freezy. So normally we have all five things I love to crush out here and we show them, but today they're all in the freezer. Why? because we don't want them melting on screen because that's just a sad popsicle. So one at a time, I will bring it out and I will show you the five popsicles I love to crush. Disclaimer, so there's one popsicle that I couldn't find and I love it. And whenever I'm out in public and I see it, I freak out like I'm a child. It's a Caduzzi, that's the actual name, It's a Caduzzi. So the people who make It's a Caduzzi, put them out in more stores because I went to four today and I couldn't find any It's a Caduzzi's. In fact, when I go see the Jays play at the Rogers Center, all I do is friggin' look for the It's a Caduzzi stand. So make sure there's more It's a Caduzzi's because they're the best popsicles in the world. In fact, let's just show a little photo. This is uh, a photo of an It's a Caduzzi. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic It's a Caduzzi. Anyways, I've said It's a Caduzzi 3,000 times on five things I love to crush. So let's start crushing next. All right, number five, the fudgesicle. Someone was very smart. They just took the last half of the word, zicle, which uh, I believe is from the root word icicle, hence frozen, in the form of a jagged thing. Anyways, and they put the word fudge in front of it because it is chocolate flavored. Fudgesicles are great. Now, you're always gonna get the little fudgesicle mustache when you eat them as you just devour them and then they melt a bit and you look like a clown serial killer, but it's okay, because a fudgesicle is everyone's friend. Now, texturally, it's a little bit more like frozen ice cream in the shape of a popsicle. Nonetheless, on a stick, fantastic, and I love to crush them. Coco, it's got cocoa in it. Oh, there we go. Do you, you know the trick to brain freeze? How to get rid of brain freeze? Do you know this? I just learned this like a month ago. Take your tongue and you press it to the top of your mouth. It helps get rid of brain freeze. It's a fact. Next! All right, number four in the popsicle world, cyclones. Now, what's cool about cyclones is they're very colorful, they're red and white, blue in the center. They have a great little like ring kind of formation. But when you eat it, there's a creaminess to it. It's a no like popsicle connoisseur, but there's a, a velvety frozen sugar that is very unique. And I feel like there's lemonade in there. I feel like there's a lemony approach to it. Um, oop, this one's slightly melted in the package. It came out first, which is okay, because look, I can just eat it like this now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we only bought one. We only bought one. So I'll have to make two. Ooh, that's colder. Brain freeze immediately. Have you ever noticed when they call something raspberry lemonade, the color of it's always blue? Since when? Has there ever been a blue raspberry? Tell me this. Tell me this. All right, next! All right, popsicle number three. The creamsicle. Very similar to the fudgesicle. They've also cleverly taken the last part of the word popsicle and put their own word in front of it, like the word cream. Or ice cream? Genius. They took vanilla ice cream and then they put a popsicle over it. And they put it on a stick. And they made it a creamsicle. I think it's fantastic. I used to eat a shit ton of these as a kid. Now, side note, 
Maybe it's because I'm 33, turning 34. I was born in the 80s. A creamsicle was always orange. Orange and vanilla. Kids today, they get blue creamsicles, raspberry creamsicles. These are all I think, side projects of the original creamsicle, which in my opinion is the orange. He's trying to eat the popsicle part without kind of, you know, uh, breaking down the, the structure of the ice cream inside. A little bit. I used to try and not just have one, but like eat as many as I could before my mom would get home. She'd come home and be like, Matthew, there was a whole box of creamsicles in the freezer, and now there's only one! At least I left you one, mom. Remember that. Remember that. Next! All right, I'm sticky as hell in this episode. I've been washing everything. Popsicle number two. Uh, so I gotta show you, this is a despicable me what are these called, Minions? A Minion Popsicle. But it's actually more the Pixar novelty Popsicle. I remember years ago, I had my very first Bugs Life Popsicle. I thought it was so cool. I had little gummy bugs in them. Ever since then, I always keep my eye open for the novelty pop. Look at that creepy little eyeball Popsicle thingy. That's fantastic, isn't it? Ooh, banana. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, banana. I didn't know Minions uh, would taste like bananas, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Are they filled with bananas? They love bananas? Then that makes total sense! See, when logic and creative popsicle solutions come together. How do I say next, like a minion? Right, would that be it? Isn't that how they sound? All right, and last but not least, the popsicle I love to crush the most is the rocket. Or apparently they've been rebranded as firecrackers. I didn't know this, but when I was a kid, you had the blue, the white, the red, the rocket now, uh, apparently, you know, it's a firecracker, which is cool. Same principle. Blue on the bottom, white in the middle, red on top. I wonder why they changed the name. Mmm. That's the best popsicle in the world. That's fantastic. I would try and do this thing where I would, like, try and, you know, suck on the popsicle long enough to just get one color gone at a time, so I would actually try and enjoy it one flavor at a time. I think I had way too much time as a kid and not enough friends because I actually made a point of trying to do this. I think I'm the only one. Well, that was a barrel of monkeys, a frozen barrel of monkeys. Well, thanks so much for watching, folks. That was five things I love to crush. Popsicle, not to be confused with Freezies, not to be confused with ice cream. Shout out to my boy, It's a Caduzzi. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what your favorite popsicle is. And, side note, let me know if you think a Lola is a popsicle, because it's neither a Freezy or an ice cream. It's kind of its own thing, a Lola. And if you have no idea what a Lola is, Google it. Google it. Bye-bye.